Hi, welcome to my channel, Promising Creations. In this channel, we do upload sewing tutorials and pattern drafting once a week or twice a week. But in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to draft and cut a six piece skirt. Please, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Please do subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so I notify whenever I upload. Like and share. I would also like to see your comments in the comment section below. Let's start. This is the fabric that we are going to use for the tutorials of today. Now we are going to start with folding our fabric the way we are going to cut it. Now you fold it this way. You fold it at the back. For you to cut a six pieces skirt, three meters of fabric will be enough for a six pieces skirt. And if you want to cut it together with the blouse, you have to go as long as getting five meters or five yards, as we all know in Nigeria, we call it yards. You fold it this way. Now, the measurement that we're going to use is we are going to start from the waist measurement. The round waist measurement is 36. The hip measurement is 42. Then the lower butt measurement is 36. Then the new, in the vertical measurement, from the waist measurement to the upper hip is 9 inches. From the waist to the knee is 18 inches, then the full skirt length is 42. Let's start. Now we are going to start by indicating our starting point by ruling. Now, in order for the opening at the down part, you consider your round waist measurement or round hip measurement based on how the client wants it. Like my class like the opening of her skirt with her hip measurement. You divide the hip measurement into seven times it by three, which I did for my client. Times it by three, I got... 18 inches now the opening for the skirt i'm going to use 18 inches at the down part i'm going to measure if this is the front this is the center front i'm going to measure 18 divided by 2 will give us 9 inches i'm going to measure if the down part will give me 9 inches and above that's what i'm going to consider here you draw it back so that it gives you 9 inches and above now I have my 9 inches at the bow, up and above at the down part. Now I'm going to start with the upper. Okay, I'm getting the starting points here. This is our starting point. are starting points now her nipple her nipple to nipple which is the boss pan measurement is eight inches divide it into two we give us four inches that's what you will use to get your center center side of the skirt now we're going to measure here we're going to get our four inches here and i took i'm going to measure the vertical I'm going to take the vertical measurement. Now, the waistband I'm going to use is two inches. But I'm going to take one and a half inches, leaving half inch for joining allowance. Here is our upper hip measurement, which is nine inches. The nail measurement, 18 inches. Then the full skirt length 
the full skirt length is 42. But I'm adding 2 inches because the client is going to put it on with a high heel. So I'm adding 2 inches so that it will accommodate the heel. So it will not be other jump up when the client is wearing it with a high heel shoe. Then I'm adding 2 inches. The skirt length is 42. But I'm taking here 44 inches. We draw a straight line against all our measurements. This is the new measurement. This is the upper hip. Now, at the new part, we are leaving the hip line. At the new line, our bow span measurement is 8 inches, but here we are taking 3.5 inches here because I want you to have that curve shape at the front. Now I'm going to connect it from the 4 inches at the waist to the 3.5 inches at the new line. Now we are going to take the down part. We are going to open up with the 9 inches. Why is 9 is that we fold the center part, the front center part, into 2. Now you then we are using 18 inches to open it up. Now we are dividing it into 2, which is give us 9 inches. Here is our 9 inches. Now we are going to connect from the new. You connect to the 9 inches that will open up before. Let me make it to be straight. Now at the down part, I don't like my skirt, the curve of the skirt to be sharp. I do go up with one inch this way and use a hip curve ruler to curve it this way. So that it should be all that curve. Now this is our center front. We are going to cut. Cutting from the down part, you cut this way. Following that curve, that one inch that we went up with. This way. Then you cut through this way. Now we are going to cut... We are going to cut the center back. The center back, I fold it up to, into two, up to 18 inches. But you, because here you are not folding, you are not folding into two. You are going to cut it, folding it to cut each one separately. Now I measure to get my 18 inches done here. Then I use the center front to place in order to get our center back. Now we're going to rule here. We're going to use our ruler. Place it very well. The only difference between the center front and the center back is the zipper allowance. Now we are going to map out our zipper allowance. So the up to the new measurement. Here is our new measurement. Here is our hip measurement. And here is our waist measurement. Now, we are going to take 2 inches for our hip, our zipper allowance. Taking 2 inches downward. Now, here is our new measurement. We are going to come in by half inch so that it will have that hip to give it that hip curve 
shape at the back. Then we are going to connect it this way. From here, we we'll connect to the waistline with that half inch that we went in with. Then this ruler is equal to two inches. And I'm going to rule it this way to meet up at the waistline also. Now, from here, we are going to open up, come up this way. We are going to open up with our 18 inches from here. These are 18 inches here. Okay, I've connected it to this place. Now I'm going to open up with, I've opened up here 18 inches to this place, to here. Now I'm going to connect from here to, I'm going to, I'm going to connect, sorry, I'm going to connect from here to the place I opened 18 inches. inches now I'm going to go up with one inch going up with one inch will be round because the six pieces get the the floor side the down part is in, in form of a cycle shape so I'm not going to make it to be down I you are not going to make it to be square I'm going to make it to be round or true Then use a curve ruler to connect it. Because here we have already curved here. I'm going to cut it this way. Now to get our side in order to get our side front we are going to play the center front against the side front this way place it this way this is the starting point these are down part i also measure before placing i got my 18 inches which we are opening with you now we are going to measure our our waist measurement is 36 36 divided by 4 will give us 9 inches that 9 inches here we've already taken 4 inches we are going to place that 4 inches here to get our 9 inches for our waist measurement these are 9 inches These are nine inches plus two and a half inches for seam allowance. These are way these are hip measurements here. These are hip measurements. These are waist measurements. And these are full skirt length. Now on our hip measurement, our hip is 42 inches divided into four will give us 10.5 inches we're already taking four inches here we are going to place four inches here in order to get our 10.5 inches here plus 2.5 inches seam allowance i like taking seam allowance so that i will not forget then our our new measurement is 
I also I took 36 inches. When you come down the butt down before the normal heel, you measure round so that the skirt will have a fit. It will fit on that area. We have taken four inches here to get our nine inches. Then plus 2.5 inches seam allowance. Now from the hip, from the waist measurement, I'm going to take the hip curve to connect so that it will give us that hip shape. Now we are going to open up our 18 inches from here. Here is where our 18 inches fall. Is here. These are 18 inches here. Now we are going to connect from the waistline, from the new line sorry from the new line to the 18 inches that will open up at the down part also i'm going to take that one inch upward at the center side front then use our hip curve ruler to connect you do it all the panels all the pieces you curve it that way so that it will have that round curve shape now we are going to cut okay I've done cutting the side back and the side front. In this case, the side back and the side front, there's no much difference because the client is not that hippy. But if their client is somehow hippy, in this place, this is the side front, this is the side back. We just have to give it a slight curve from the waist to the nail. So that it will accommodate the back area. Now, we are going to place it on the lining. This is the lining that we are, I'm going to use. I'm going to place it on the lining. I'll place it in cut. Then gone. I'll come and show you how it is before we go to the machine to join. Okay, I've done cutting the lining. Gumming it to paper stay. This is the side back. This is the lining. I gum it with paper stay. This way. This is the front side. This is the lining. I've gummed it. And this is the back side. And also the lining. Gum it also. Now this is the front side. This is the front side. Then now we are going to work with the waist of the front side of the center front this way i came down with half for the waistline i'm going to remove it this way I'm going to cut it off. That it will have that curve down curve shape at the front this way. Now I'm going to join to the machine, and when I join it, 
I'll come and show you how it should be. Okay. I've finished joining the lining and the fabric together. This one side of the front. This is center front and one side of the front. There's a way I'm going to join it that it will have a slit at the front. And this is the back, one of the back side. And this is the second back side. Join it together with the lining. Now let me show you how I'm going to do the front side. It's going to have a slit at the front. Now this is the one of the side front and the center front. This is the other side front. Now I'm going to join it this way. I'm going to join it this way. I will use pin and hold it. Then I will show you how it will be after joining it up. I'm using pin just to assume that we've joined it. Here is the new. Now, from the new, so that it will not be too open. Then from the new, I'm going to take, this is the new. I'm going to take 10 inches downward from the new. Then I will mark. That is where I will start the slit. This way. That's where I will start this. This is how it will look like. This is the slit. This is how I will join it. Now, this is the complete front panel. Now, to give it a design, and I will cover the joining here this way. I'll first of all put this way. This way. When I get to the 10 inches that I came down with, I will separate the bias to get to this place. That's for one line. Then I will give it a gap here. I will do another one to this place and join here. Then I will do another one to give it either three or four lines. That will make it to look more attractive. Let me go to the machine and join it. I will come and show you the final results. Now I have attached the bias that I use for design on the front side. Before I told you that this, the front and the, the center front and the other side of the front side, they are separately, which I join with a small allowance, half of half, quarter of an inch allowance. I join them together before I use the bias to close up the joining at the front so that I will be able to achieve this opening without noticing where I join it and I use a bias strip to close up here use a bias strip also to close up here that's how it's going to be now I'm going to join the front panel and the back panel together and that will give us our normal shape okay this is the end product of our skirt. We went ahead and joined. I went ahead and joined both the front panel and the back panel together. This is the opening. The way I split it into two, I split it into two. And curving it all through, this is what I want to achieve. That it will be in form of cycle, in form of 360 flay. This way, go around all through. There's no sharp edges. Thank you for watching. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you notify whenever I upload. Also, like and share. 
I would like to see your comments, suggestions, questions, requests in the comment section below. Thank you. God bless you all. Bye.